Добрый день, Александр. Добрый день, Леша. Добрый день, BGD Freaks. Есть много вопросов по поводу предстоящего Abu Dhabi Grand Slam в Москве. Ну, первый вопрос. Наверняка это мероприятие будешь организовывать ты и твоя команда, правильно? Yes. Отлично. Тогда я могу задавать все вопросы, которые нас интересуют именно тебе. Okay. Uh, yes, it's gonna be the first Grand Slam in, in Russia. Actually, you know that today we have uh, Grand Slam in Los Angeles, Grand Slam in Abu Dhabi, Grand Slam in Rio, in London and in Tokyo. And uh, after these five years working with oh, the foreign federation, well, it's still the federation, YIGJF federation still exists. Now it's gonna be the first time in uh, Russia and with this change. Now the Grand Slam is not organized by UAHJF because UAHJF is a federation of Jiu-Jitsu from UAE. So it's going to be responsible for the competitions in UAE uh, country. Outside the world, it was born because UAE started doing it, but now there is the league, there is AGP, Abu Dhabi Jiu-Jitsu Pro, that is going to be all over the world making not only the Grand Slams but also the nationals and the international. So when we make now Moscow International, when we make Russian National Pro, it's going to be AGP. Это просто изменение в названии и лига просто под новым флагом будет работать также или есть существенные различия между тем, как проходили турниры UHGF и как будут проходить турниры Лиги uh, GP. Uh, you know that jiu-jitsu is still seen as an amateur sport. Of course, we have big organizations that trying to make are trying to make it professional. For example, you have ACB that is paying prize in money. You have uh, IBJJF that is started paying prize in money. UHGF that paid prize in money. Uh, in the world and uh, Grand Slam is also one of it. It's paying prize in money to make it professional. People that live of Jiu-Jitsu as a profession. But uh, most of the sports like tennis, like uh, basketball, like football, they need, a league, they need a league to organize this professionality. For example, Moscow uh, uh, basketball has uh, NBA. Uh, National Basketball uh, Association. Uh, tennis has ATP. Um, football has NFL, and so on. So Jiu Jitsu now has Abu Dhabi Jiu Jitsu Pro. It's a league. It's gonna not only organize the competitions worldwide, not only find the sponsors to pay for the prizes, not only bring athletes to compete, for example, many of the Brazilians that will come, they are going to be brought by AGP from Abu Dhabi to, complete, to compete, to make the, the level of the competition the first year even higher. So the creation of a league is one step for the professionalization of the sport. So Jiu-Jitsu is growing, is one of the sports that grow the most in the world. And the fact that now there is a league taking care of jiu-jitsu just bring us uh, good. Okay, на какие же все-таки основные изменения, может быть, в правилах, в регламенте? Well, if you uh, before people were uh, they were registering the site YJF. Now when you click in YJF, you don't find anymore. You find AGP Tour because it's around the world. But it's the same link, the structure is the same, just the logo changes, but there there is information of the weight divisions. So the rules are not changing about uh, refereeing, these rules are not changing. What they are changing now is that uh, you cannot consider a white belt, he says he's a professional fighter, the guy's white belt, he has one year of jiu-jitsu. But from blue belt on, they are going to be professional. In the future, it's going to be purple belt. In the future, only brown and black and so on. Because this is a matter of uh, time. Until one day you have no belts. Uh, like uh, everybody who is jiu-jitsu fighter, uh, they're going to be uh, participating together. So this is a process, it's going to take years. But for now, they are limiting the number of registrations. It's going to be 700, so register fast. 
uh, many people from other countries will come. Now the propaganda and the media is going to, to increase. But uh, the fact is that the main changes are not in divisions, are not in rules, it part. So in general, there are not more uh, changes, also because we don't want the public to be, oh, I don't know what to do. No, the procedure is the same. Make your membership, make your registration, pay for membership, pay for registration, compete, and there are prizes in money if you get first places. So there is not, uh, nothing's going to change towards this now. Что принесет и что потенциально может принести э, турнир такого уровня, как Абдаби Гранд Слэм в Москве э, для российского ПЖЖ-сообщества? Mm -hmm. э, в принципе, ну, ответ кажется очевидным, но хотелось бы услышать версию этого ответа непосредственно из уст организаторов. Леша, uh, if you look jiu-jitsu uh, five years ago when this competition starts, started, when we had the first IBGF that was uh, Moscow, Moscow IBGF Open, it was in CSK Arena, yeah. people had never had a big competition in Russia, it was the first. After that, we had IBGF, uh, Moscow International, we had many times. Now, last month we made in St. Petersburg, uh, the first St. Petersburg Open, we made many uh, Moscow International, YGJF, we made many Russian National Pro, YGJF, we made uh, the Continental Pro, the first in Europe, was here in Moscow in February last year. And these new generation, people that are white belts, that are purple belts, or even some brown belts, they are already used to the competitions. They already see how international competitions are. And you see that competitions that are uh, born in Russia, like ACB or like Gymnasium, for example, they brought a big level of professionalism because they have to keep up with these other competitions. And it's very clear that the whole public wins because everybody has the chance to compete a lot in Russia. Everybody, before it was very hard. Whoever is a black belt today, if you wanted to compete in the past, he had to travel to Poland, to France, to Italy, to Lisbon, to the United States to compete, to have a nice medal, to have a nice level organization, to have good fights. Now, if you go to any competition uh, here in, in Moscow that has a big level of organization, like uh, these competitions that I, I mentioned, you are going to see that you have good fights, you have a, a good number of players and so on. Of course, there is still the problem of the cost, because uh, it's not cheap to organize, pay the venue, pay the staff, pay the organization, tatami, uh, t-shirts, propaganda, medals, everything that you know that is involved, there is a cost. And uh, people are still used to compete paying 500, 1000 rubles, changing clothes in front of everyone. Uh, 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 so they, they are still getting used to this level of professionalism, but this is getting better and better. The Nazum Cup today to participate is uh, $85, 5,000 rubles. And people are paying, there are almost 900 registrations, what is good. So people start to understand that if they want something good, good level, they have to pay more. Good referees, good organization, good uh, assistance to athletes, uh, good ambulance, doctors waiting. So all this to give a good experience to the athletes and the level of the Jiu-Jitsu grow. So uh, the fact that we have a Grand Slam has another aspect. It's the aspect that a Grand Slam pays prize in money, prize in cash. Many athletes come from other countries. And this is a good parameter for people to compare. You're going to see lots of Brazilians competing, lots of people from, I don't know, Ukraine, Ukraine maybe not, but from uh, Azerbaijan, from Uzbekistan, from Kazakhstan, from uh, other parts of Europe who don't have problem with visa, they will come to compete. Because even to come to Russia, now this visa is a, is a, is a big problematic. But we believe that with time, it's going to get better and better. Сложная тема. У нас в России, как ну, все знают и все замечают, практически не выступают черные и коричневые пояса. Какие прогнозы по 
выступлению российских черных и коричневых поясов на предстоящем турнире и почему? Um, this is the first Grand Slam of the season, okay? And this Grand Slam, they put the, the prices, cash prices higher. So now the cash prices are higher than it was last uh, season. So we believe that it's going to be lots of brown and black. But I think that most of Russian black belts uh, or black belts who live in Russia, they don't compete for two reasons. Some of them, because uh, they are not competitors anymore, for example, like me, I'm 46 years old, or Valesio in, in St. Petersburg, or Eduardo that is also 46, or Sestaro that has his injuries but want to continue in competing, the Brazil, I'm talking about the Brazilians. But I think that is, uh, there are many Russians that like to compete, like uh, Dauda Daev, like Ali, uh, Ali Magomedov, like uh, Yub. Uh, they are still in competing age, and uh, it's a good vitrine for them to fight here against fighters that come from other places. They are fighting with their team, supporting them, so it's very good. I think we're going to have not all black belts from Russian competing, but I think many black belts will come, especially Brazilians because it's $4,000 price. The guy pays $500 ticket from, I don't know, Abu Dhabi, or from when they come, they compete, and uh, they can come home with $4,000. So I think it, lots of uh, Brazilians will compete. Такой вопрос, который интересует сейчас всех участников и болельщиков на всех турнирах, будет ли бесплатная прямая трансляция? Is it <laughs> BDJ Freaks TV. Uh, it's a good idea. Uh, no, we're gonna have Flow Grappling. Flow Grappling will be transmitting. Also, uh, Abu Dhabi TV is gonna be trans transmitting. And we are in a close negotiations with Match TV. Match TV also. Uh, we are close to, to very close to close so that it can be broadcast by Match TV. But for sure, Flow Grappling. Match TV and Abdabi TV, uh, it's for free, but only uh, Central Match. Yes. It's like it was in the last Grand Slam. А почему была выбрана Триумф Арена, а не какие-то предыдущие ЦСКА, Динамо и так далее? Because to, this is the first competition Grand Slam in Russia. Now Russia is part of uh, elite of uh, jiu-jitsu along with these cities that I told you. In all these cities, in Brazil, there was the visit of president of Brazil went to Grand Slam. In Japan, the governor of Tokyo region went to Grand Slam. So all authorities, big authorities of the country, they are invited. So we had to choose an arena that had all facilities from a list of requirements not to stop the competition for an authority to come. Because you know that some people, if they want to come to the competition, they have to stop fights for two hours, then come dogs, <laughs> then a detector of metal, explosives and so on. This was the best arena for the first one, so that we had a good facility for the players, warm-up area, waiting area, everything correct, plus a good place that authorities can come and visit. So it is out of Moscow, it's 30 minutes by car from the center. It's going to be a Saturday and a Sunday, so Sunday mainly there is no much traffic, it's summer. We know that uh, in June, in summer, the city traffic is better. So uh, there is a metro nearby, so it's not a big issue. People can go from the center to there in 30 minutes, it's okay. Хорошо, пока у нас больше вопросов нет. Но наверняка они у нас или у наших подписчиков появятся, и э, можем ли мы время от времени приходить и задавать эти вопросы? Guys, there is the following. It's very, it's a lot of work, a lot of work to organize such a competition, okay? Uh, we have a team that is very, very small in Russia, but we try to do everything uh, with qualities, as you see. And besides organizing the competition, I also have my team, I have my business that I have to take care. 
So the more people write, but uh, I am I am happy to answer questions when I can or to answer you guys when I can. But some guys they ask question: How do I register? What is the site? How much is the 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 registration? All the information that is in site, yeah, agptour.com. Please go to the site, get the information there. Oh, that, but I don't understand the English. All right, use the translator in the browser, okay? Ask help to friends, because now we are very busy. It's one month for the organization, and uh, we will be glad to answer any questions that are questions like uh, that nobody can find the answers anymore. We are happy to help. Okay, guys, so register, it's going to be limited number of people. So later, after it's closed, you cannot register anymore. I see you guys there. Uh, it's going to be the first uh, Grand Slam Moscow AGP. And you can say I took part in the first AGP. Uh, I was there. I saw this happen and uh, help us make this event the best in Russia ever.